All right, boys and girls, today's video is on functions. Really, if you've ever seen f of g of x or some variation of that on the SAT or ACT, this is what they're talking about. Let's get into some of these questions. These are all from ACTs, but the same skills show up on SATs. Let's get started. The first one comes to us from number 24. Really, what's going on? Well, it says f g of x, f g of x. And this is kind of rare, but really this isn't that f of g of x notation. Really, it's much different. What it's not, this is saying plug g of x into f. But that's not what this is saying. This question is saying, oh, f g. f g is multiplication. Really, you have 5x squared minus 6x plus 1 foiled with x squared minus 2, literally just straight up multiplication. At which point, you will go ahead and foil that, this to this, 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 this to this. So you have 5x to the 4th minus 10x squared minus 6x to the 3rd plus 12x plus x squared minus 2. And at the end of the day, of course, you can simplify all that down, but I notice that there is a minus 2 here and there's a minus 2 here. Therefore, the answer is J. So that's pretty quick there. That's number 24. Now that's different from some of these other questions because when we take a look at something like 36, what's happening? It's not saying f g x. This time it's not saying f g of x. It's saying h of f of x. Again, the notation is very different. What you should see here is, oh, they're plugging f of x in to h. Again, we're plugging this in to h. In that case, we have 2, negative x minus 4, plus 3. Let's simplify that out. This will distribute. So you have negative 2x plus, oopsies, minus 8 plus 3. And we end with answer choice F. Any questions here? Chime off down below. Let's come down for these last two questions. Let's try number 50 here. It's a little bit blurry. But if it says F of G of 1. Well, f of g of 1, the idea here is you're plugging 1 into g and then plugging g into f. In which case, oh, well, wait a second. You're plugging 1 into g, you're getting 2. Again, 1 and g get you 2. And then plug 2 into f, you get negative 6. The answer is negative 6. I'll explain that one more time. Really, the idea here is you're plugging 1 into g and then plug g into f. So whatever you get from plugging 1 into g, we get 2. Plug that then into f. f of 2 is negative 6. The answer is f. I'll actually leave off here, and I'll save the other two questions for another video. So that is good for now, and I will see you guys in the next one.